Hey everyone, welcome back. So yes, your Android phone is listening and tracking you as there are some settings on your mobile phone on your Android phone that is enable and allow you to track your conversation. Not only this, it also consume more battery on your phone and even slow down the performance. Now, if you're curious to know that how this exactly happening, then let me give you an example here. Now speak to someone on a call or on a message and during the conversation, show some interest on any kind of product or any kind of service like buying home, buying any kind of mobile phone, any laptop or looking for any kind of plumbing services. Now you will notice after some time you will be getting a similar advertisement on your social account or probably on the Google or YouTube related to the product and services about which you were talking about. And this all happened because some settings are enabled which track and listen to your conversation. So if you're really concerned about your privacy or on your mobile phone, then go ahead and disable these settings right now. Now the very first service that you have to disable will be enhanced intelligent service. So basically the enhanced intelligent service is a feature on the same Android phone that collect personal information to improve the user experience. It is available on many brands like the Realme, OnePlus and Oppo which are owned by the BBK Electronics. Now this is really very harmful and not recommended as it track all the information about your activity and about your credential. So in order to disable it what you have to do, swipe down your Android phone screen and then tap on settings. And in the settings you have to scroll down a bit and look for system or system and update. Tap on it. Then you have to look for system services. Again, tap on it. Now here only you will find on the top enhanced intelligent services. Now, as I said, many of you will find it, but many of you will not find it. You can also make a search in the setting to find it out. If you find this setting, you have to go ahead and immediately disable it. Once done, again, you can go back to the Android settings to the home page. And here you have to scroll down. And at the very bottom, you will find the Google. So tap on the Google here. Then on the top, you will find two different options. So you have to tap on all services. And in the all services, scroll down a bit and you will find privacy and security. So now we're in the privacy and security. First, you need to tap on the ads. And below the ad privacy, you will find a reset advertising ID. So you need to reset the advertising ID so that all the information that were being saved can be cleared out. So tap on it and then tap on confirm and it will be done. Now you also need to delete this advertising ID as you do not need that any advertisement should be done. So tap on the delete advertising ID again, tap on delete advertising ID to confirm. And once done, now you can come back again to the privacy and security. And this time you have to click on personalize using shared data. Tap on it again. Now here also, if you want to read, then you can come below and it says, let Google app use on device data shared by these application and other sources to improve your Android experience. Now it's really not recommended guys to keep this option enable. So go ahead and disable them one by one as you don't want that any information or any tracking should be done on your map or Google or Gmail. One by one, disable them all. Again, go back. And this time you have to look for usage and diagnostic. Again, tap on it and disable the usage and diagnostic. Once done, now we are only remaining with the final step where we have to disable the microphone permission to the application who are basically listening to our call and tracking our conversation. All right, so again, go back to the settings and in the setting, you have to search for microphone and in the suggestion, you will be getting the microphone permission manager. You need to tap on it. Now, in case if you don't find this setting of microphone permission manager, then what else you can do? You can just look for the app management. So come back to the settings homepage and here you have to scroll down and somewhere you will find apps or apps management. You need to tap on it. Then you have to look for app management again, tap on it. Now here also you will be finding all kinds of application installed on your device. And from here you can click on them one by one. And then you can click on permissions and from here only you can disable the microphone permissions. All right. So this will be the method in case if you don't find the permission manager, 
But if you do find, then again, you can come back and look for the microphone permission manager. Now here, according to the category wise, like on the top, it will show allowed all the time. Now, these are the application that you have to disable the microphone permission first. Now I have already disabled them. So it's not showing under the allowed all the time, but yes, under allowed only while in use, there are still many applications for which I have to remove the microphone permission. Now, why you are applying this setting guys, because whenever you install any application, you give them all the permission, including the microphone permission. And in future, whenever you are on a call or do any kind of conversation using your mic permission, they listen to your call. Okay. So what do you have to do? Tap on the application here where exactly you don't have any a requirement of the microphone. So I will tap on it and choose don't allow. Similarly, Amazon Alexa, I'm not using anymore. So either I can uninstall it or at least I will give don't allow permission here and so on. Depending what kind of application you have, you have to go ahead and disable the permission for all of them. So now once you have done all these changes, guys, now you are very safe. And at least these application and Google will not be able to listen you and track your conversation and so on. Your privacy will be maintained. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, found this information useful. If yes, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe so that you can receive the latest and related videos in the future. Till then, take care. Bye bye.